Worst reviewed month. 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 There's a bag of shits behind you and it shows. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very special video because today we're going to be visiting another worship youth salon. Yes, you're right. It's a special video. Mm -hmm. Why? Ask. What is this uninteractive audience about? Because. <laughs> okay. Oh! Well, I've been seeing this trend popping up in social media, which is basically people copying or trying to Photoshop themselves in Vogue covers. Uh, I have done this video like a year before, so... <laughs> Ahead of your time! <laughs> Ahead of my time. So we're gonna go get a Vogue cover done by the worst reviewed makeup artist. Yes! I want to show her one and then you'll recreate that and then by the end of the video, you'll compare the both Vogue covers. Before we get into the video, if you have to because I know if you'd like to see more themed worst videos like this. All right, let's go. Let's go. Are you ready? Magazine shoot. Yeah. We're going to get a dramatic smoky eye. Smoky eye look. There's a very big difference between a smoky eye and a raccoon eye, so I hope like it's gonna be. That's true. Oh. Yes, Linda's. Yes, we're there and we're doing it. So this makeup artist is a makeup artist. Wow. No, but seriously, she actually is a proper makeup artist because you'll see throughout this makeup in general that it wasn't as cringeworthy as the rest of my videos, but obviously it still wasn't great. It was not even close to professional. I showed her the picture of the Vogue magazine and uh, as much as I'd love to say she got right to it, she didn't. She didn't at all. We spent 20 minutes waiting on that chair after I, you know, realized I got an appointment at the dentist. <laughs> but she legit took 20 minutes to set up her uh, makeup products. Uh, I've been to a lot of professional makeup artists. Most of the time, they usually have it already prepared because, you know, most of the makeup artists I go to, I take appointments with beforehand. And this was no special case. I took an appointment for this lady and she was not prepared at all i mean what i'm trying to say here is that she saw the makeup she saw what i wanted to go for and she doesn't really need all these palettes like especially the colored ones there's absolutely no need for those it would have been nicer if she spent that time instead of setting up all these palettes to just kind of start with the makeup and get it done a lot faster than she actually did this was probably the most amount of time i've waited before getting my makeup done so that was probably why i was just a little uncomfortable anyway anyway god judy get over it shit Oh my god, Judy is filming a voiceover the third time. Judy, you look, you look dazed. Everything okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was slightly dazed because I was not aware of, uh, of time. time. What took me out of my daze is the glistening steel from the far corner of the salon. A razor coming straight at my eyebrows. <laughs> I don't know what bothered her so much about my eyebrows that she was just pissed the whole time and she kept talking about it and she kept saying things like yeah, so that just made the experience a lot more uncomfortable because she just kept mentioning it and talking about it over and over again but if we keep that aside i actually like the way my eyebrows turned out and believe it or not she did not need to pluck them she did not need to use that razor on me so she takes out one of the 10 palettes that she decided to display for us she basically uses a transitional color which is very professional i love the way my eyes are looking right now i feel like this is something i could get done by a pro it looks pretty blended to me it looks nice but let me just talk about one thing uh while she puts the 
the black eyeshadow because remember that's what the look was these makeup artists tend to rush into the makeup as quickly as possible it's a very quick application of the makeup and no matter how intense the makeup is or no matter how strong the eye look would be they still get it done very quickly and that's mainly because they they don't bother put enough time into blending plus it's not really a great experience for the actual client so you don't really enjoy it it's more like smacking and slapping everywhere and <laughs> just to get it done in that amount of time wow! it was a very clean cut crease and i think she did a very very good job doing that we will not tolerate this behavior so now now is where things i feel went a little downhill you see the eyes you look at them and you're like damn girl damn those eyes snatched girl you see i think you can tell like from the instant she put that product on my face it was a little too dark for me and i think a little too yellow as well it's a good thing i was wearing the shirt i was wearing And she did blend it all the way down my neck so you can't really tell the difference in the shade uh, as much anymore i don't know i look cakey i don't like the way i look my face just looks bigger <laughs> i don't know what she's doing with the brush So you see how in the beginning it started off as tabletop Judy and now it's like countertop Judy and then it slowly ended up being more than countertop Judy now it's freaking dining table Judy because my whole abdominal area was being in use you know you can't you can't miss the spot you know first of all I don't know what the hell that is it literally looks like a face painting uh, aqua color because I have the exact same one and I use it for face painting. Maybe it's just a creamy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is, okay? I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, she uses that to contour. Um, I also kind of look like Wolverine now. I also wish she blended that a lot better than the way it looks right now. I don't know you guys, I don't know. I feel like every time I look at it, like when I close my eyes, I actually really like it. And then I open my eyes, I'm like, ugh. It's like low-key raccoon, you know? I don't know, there's something off about it. Maybe it's just when I open my eyes. Because every time I close my eyes and I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, that's not a bad look, you know? Obviously this was before she put the lipstick, by the way. Let's just get make that clear. That lipstick was nasty. And I'm not talking about the color, because that color, I mean, apart from the color being disgusting, I hate that color. I don't know why they keep freaking using it on me. Yeah, apart from the color, <laughs> what a rant. <laughs> this whole video is a rant. Anyway, um, look at it. It's nasty. And wait until you see the montage, bitch. That shit was disgusting.
Hello and welcome back home. I feel like this is the kind of makeup you first look at and you're like, okay, not bad. I mean, that's what I felt when I looked at myself in the mirror. I don't know, there's just this worst reviewed sensation seeping into this makeup look. I mean, especially my lips. The whole trip back home, I was doing this and it would get stuck. Look. Ew. <laughs> But I think the eyes, they were decent, they're nice. I love my eyebrows. I think where this kind of went downhill is the contour or the highlighting and contouring in general. Like this, my forehead, it looks like I have a... It looks like a Halloween look more than a... <laughs> I feel maybe if she blended it a little more, it would have been nicer. And the lips, I don't like the lips. I don't like the lips at all. I mean... All right. <laughs> I don't think this is very bad, but I mean, does it look like the magazine? Yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments below. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and um, as usual, oh my God. a nice farewell from our little buddy here.